Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full day wear test on the new Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I actually have it here in two colors because I ordered one and I didn't like the shade and I ordered the other one. So I have 2W2 and 2N1. So I will swatch them both for you and apply it. Um, I did wear this two times. I got it two days ago. I wanted to film earlier, but life happened. So I got to test this foundation a little bit more. So if you're interested, of course, continue watching. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the channel and let's get started. So like always, I will do one side primed and one side not. I'm going to use my glowish primer and I will do check-ins in natural light. Again, it's so dark and gloomy here. I wanted to record the whole thing in natural light, but the room it's just dark. It's so cloudy everywhere. So yeah, uh, I'll find a spot to show you really up close. I really like this primer. This is the Blur Jam and you need very little. And I focus it rear, right here on the pores and the center and then whatever's left, I kind of tap it everywhere. So let's talk a little bit about this foundation. This is $48. Um, it comes in a glass packaging I'll show you. I actually really like the packaging. I think it's sleek, it's beautiful, it's not too big and it has a nice pump. I like the packaging. So this is supposed to have a natural finish, medium coverage, light formula and long wear up to 12 hours and it's waterproof. I have not tested that out and honestly I've kind of I've worn the foundation but I haven't really looked up close in the mirror. I was just distracted with kids and life. So here are the two colors that I got. I got the 2W2 and then the 2N1. This one is just too orangey on me. Yeah, it's just too warm. I'm not that warm. And then um, the 2N, I thought it would be too light. And honestly, in the summertime, it probably will be too light, but for now, the 2N works. So this is 2N and this is 2W2. There is a 2W1 that I tested in store and that one is a little bit more yellow rather than like almost orangey. So this is a very light, almost serum-y like. And when you spread it out, it becomes a little bit almost powdery. It's extremely light though. It becomes a very velvety. It, I'm trying to think which foundation it reminds me of because it does remind me of a foundation. So I just went through about 10, 15 foundations to try to find the one that it reminds me of. And I tried everything from Chanel, Pat McGrath, and the finish, the way it feels on the skin, it kind of reminds me a little bit of this Lawless. Conceal the deal. They're not the same. The, the Lawless is much more runny and watery. This has more thickness to it, even though it's extremely light, but compared to Lawless. But it's just that finish when you rub it in, it just feels different, very light, but um, it blends in really fast and it has an almost um, velvety feel to it. Anyway, that's the only one that I could find that resembles the feeling of the foundation, not the finish or anything else, just that. Okay, so let's put this on. I'm going to do the 2N here. I think that I can use this on its own. Um, and I think what I'm going to do, what I've done before, is just use my hand to rub it in. I'll show you how easy it is to do that. Maybe even on the Rare Beauty foundation it, it kind of reminds me of that finish like that smoothness that is the uh, 2n1 and what i've noticed with this is that when you put it on it looks much lighter right here for example than when you blend it out so that's why I was confused with the 2W2 because I, I looked at it put it on and i was like oh that's gonna work um it was too dark so I'm going to rub this with my finger. This almost feels like a tinted moisturizer. It feels very nice on the skin. Um, 
and light. It feels extremely light. Obviously, I'm using my hand to blend this out. I'm going to blend it um, with a brush on this side. But see, I feel like the color is decent. I'm extremely fair right now. But I think the color will work better than the other one for sure. Now, when you pump this, it doesn't pump a lot. It almost like pumps half a pump, which I like because most of the time I'm not going to use a ton of foundation. But let's put it over my eyes. Right here. That's how it looks like with a very light layer. I used my hand. And honestly, this is how I see myself using this foundation with my hands. Just because it's so easy and soft and yeah um so let's look at the coverage i do think that this is a true medium coverage right now i don't think it's a light you i have more coverage and more perfection than a light coverage you could definitely see the redness and all the freckles and things like that and here is just a very smooth. The finish also reminds me of the pat mcgrath just a little bit like the way it sits on the skin it's a very unique texture that I think it's interesting. I'm curious to see what you guys think of this, if you can go swatch it. Um, yeah, I think it's interesting. I am taking my Rare Beauty brush because it's quite dense. And I'm going to put it on this side. I assume we're going to get a little bit more coverage here. finish is really beautiful it's definitely more of a natural finish it's not too glowy I don't know why I thought this would be a glowy finish but it's not it's just more natural um, and it's very light on the skin it feels like I'm not wearing anything here we have the side that I used my hand with no primer and the side that I used a brush and uh, I use that primer. I do think I like the primer around the pore area. I think it looks smooth, uh, but I do like the application of the, the hand easier. It's just like so much faster. Um, and I like that it's almost blended into my skin. Obviously the warmth of my finger rubbing my skin, it's like gonna push that product in more. So I do like the application of my hands, but I like using a primer with it. I don't think it's bad around the pore area. I think it's really nice. Yeah, I think it's a really nice formula so far. It feels, which is bizarre, it feels a little tacky. Like it feels like it hasn't set down. So we're gonna see if this ends up setting down or not. But so far, I like it. I think it's really pretty and I love the coverage. This is a perfect coverage for me. I will take one more pump and see if we can build up the coverage here. Maybe right here. I'm using the laptop so it's far away. I'm blind. I need glasses. <laughs> and I'm just going to use the brush to see if we can build the coverage there. Even though I love the coverage that I had. But I don't think it looks as good. Like I feel like it looks a little heavier now that I put that other layer on so even though this gave me a little bit more coverage i really don't like the feeling of it i feel like i want to rub it off like i really liked it when it was really light um on my skin and it feels i don't know if you can see like it almost feels like it sticks to my fingers now that it's even heavier so i feel like this may be one of those foundations that if you need a lot of coverage, oops, sorry, and you want to build this up, this is not going to be it for you. This is definitely really beautiful as a soft, medium finish. Um, coverage, not finish. But uh, yeah, I feel like it looks a little more, more makeup-y now that I applied a second layer. So I guess I could take a beauty blender and see if I could take that off. So I do think the Beauty Blender helped a little bit. I think it looks better and a little bit more perfected right now. So what I'm going to do is just go and finish my makeup. And then I'll show you how it looks with the makeup on. And then show you natural light. 
I'll be right back. This is how the foundation looks like with a little bit of makeup. I put a little bit of bronzer. I did not put blush yet. Probably will do a reel with a blush. So um, now you can really see the foundation. Uh, I did put some concealer, just a little powder under my concealer and on my T-zone, and that's it. What I have on my eyes is this Chanel uh, color in New Moon, and then on my lips I have this Chanel lipstick in the color, I think, Tender Beige. Timeless Beige, I was close. I'm trying to use this up more. I love the color. I love the way it sits on the uh, lips all day, and it's in my project pan. So... That's it. So when I feel it, it feels still a little sticky, like very little, almost like I want to powder this, um, but I don't want to because I do like the way it looks. So far, I think everything looks really, really good. I can see it settling in this smile line right here, which I'm, I would say 90% of my foundations do that. It does not bother me at all. But that's the only thing that I noticed that I'm like, oh, that's where I kind of see the foundation. Besides that, it looks nice. The concealer I have is the Colfi concealer that I absolutely love. And I think it looks really good with it. And honestly, I feel quite full coverage right now. I think because I put that concealer on, it definitely has covered a lot more. So yeah, I, I really feel like everything is pretty much covered. I would say medium to full coverage right now. Uh, and you know, that cakiness, almost like that makeup -y feel, it kind of went away after I used the Beauty Blender and it, it settled into my skin a little bit better. So yeah, right now I really like it. I think it looks very, very perfecting, very smooth, not super glowy, not like um, oily at all. I think it's a true natural finish. And it looks nice. Again, the one thing that bothers me is that feeling like it, it, it hasn't set down yet. So I will update you though throughout the day if it ever did set down or it did not. So that's it for now. I will see you in just a little bit in natural light. So I just finished recording a reel on the house labs blushes so obviously i have more blush right now but let's zoom you in this is pretty much all natural light and show you how the foundation's looking i think it looks really nice the, the blushes went on top very smoothly and i feel like it's kind of setting down the foundation even though um you know it still feels the slightest bit tacky or a little sticky maybe it's so little though but i don't want it to scare you but that is that feeling there um but besides that nothing really has changed everything still looks the same it's only been like an hour but i wanted to show you before the sunlight goes away it's very cloudy and gray outside so if the foundation looks gray it's it's the clouds the only thing is this line right here i can see that um yeah i think that's about it it's quite normal for me to see that line and um the rest looks nice i feel definitely almost more than a medium coverage foundation it almost feels like i have fuller coverage like everything is quite perfected um but i think the concealer had a lot to do with that so that's it for now. I think everything's still looking pretty much the way it looked when I applied it. Quick check-in. It's been hours actually. It has been maybe seven hours so far. Um, the kids are watching, they're playing, but uh, the foundation looks almost the same. I kind of feel like when I do these check-ins I should be more active, but honestly I haven't done much but like recorded and edited and things like that what i was saying is i should do these reviews when i'm actually doing things and i'm out and about which seems to be every single day but when i record like foundation reviews i'm just at home anyway um the foundation really hasn't changed that much i feel like it still looks nice honestly it feels quite full coverage to me the more you know i wear the more i'm like i don't really see much through this um it still looks nice this is kitchen light so it's the best we could do it's getting dark outside and bluey singing so um 
yeah let me check here in the mirror honestly everything looks good i really like this concealer this is the coffee concealer there's just something about it that's just so beautiful um will i get copyrighted for bluey soundtrack Anyway, that's it. Nothing has changed except maybe a little glowier. And I did rub my nose quite a bit and it moved just a little bit, but nothing tragic. So that's my check-in, second check-in. I'm so proud I did two check-ins. There's gonna be another one in the middle of the night, probably at like 12 o'clock or something. So we'll have a full day wear test. I'm a night owl, so I stay up late. I am back and it is the end of the day. I am ready to take all of this off. I'm gonna have a drink tonight, a bourbon something. Andrew's mixing something in the kitchen right now, so I'm excited. Um, now about the foundation. Let's look up close and see what we think. We have the drink. I made you drink. Look how fancy this is. What is this? It's called the Expat. E it has bourbon. You can come. Well, there's no room. There's no room. I have such a big mess around. It's just <laughs> boxes of makeup. You're not in. I'm not in. All the way in. I'm so much taller than him. I'm 5'4". He's 6. Uh, this one is uh, bourbon, lime, simple syrup, and then some bitters. It's kind of strong on the bourbon. Mm, I like it. I've been liking bourbon. I haven't been drinking much, though, lately. Yeah. This is I like the to... first time. In a... Yeah. This is the first time in months. Um, so I've been trying to, it's actually very good. It's not too strong. I mean, it's probably strong, but yeah, I'm hardcore. <laughs> That's you. <The> definition. <laughs> I get tipsy after one drink. I'm like, whoo. So as you can probably tell, it is a little glowier than when I applied it, which does not bother me. However, if you have oily skin, I don't think this is the foundation for you. I find it definitely glowier throughout the day, but not extra. It's not like anything crazy, but you will get, you know, your natural oils coming through. It's kind of a little gone around my chin in this area, but I stayed a lot like this today. I was editing. I was just sitting there with the kids. I noticed throughout the day that I had my hands on my face so much. So for it being touched so much. I actually think it looks pretty good. On the chin is pretty gone, but I also did bath time tonight, so I got wet and everything with the kids. Bath time with the kids. I didn't take a bath yet, but um, yeah, I, I think it actually looks really, really good. Around the pore area, I don't really see a huge difference. Let me look up close. Yeah, I don't see a huge difference between the area that is primed and the area that is not. So that's good to know. You know, I've been quite impressed with the foundations lately. I haven't found a real dud in a long time. So yeah, I think this looks really beautiful. It still kept quite a lot of coverage on my forehead. It's pretty much perfect, except, you know, glowier. Around here, it has moved a little bit on my chin. It's gone. But around my nose, I think it still looks really good. Around the cheek area, obviously, I put some blush on my cheek. So it looks much blushier than when you first saw me. Um, but yeah, I think it wore really, really well. So throughout the day, I was kind of thinking of the foundation to really gather my thoughts. And I think this is a great foundation. If you have normal to dry skin, I think it's really pretty. Now, I don't have any dry patches at the moment, so I can't say that it does great over dry patches because I don't have any. But I would assume because of the texture, it would do quite well. It did really well around the nose and that's where I was more worried that, you know, it would either separate um, or move. Now, when I applied it, I loved it with my hand. When I built it up, I did not like it. It felt a little too heavy, just too much for me. So I think this foundation shines when you leave it as a nice medium coverage because it has such a natural finish yet perfecting with still seeing some freckles and imperfections here and there, but it's uh, evening out your skin really, really well. That's how I like this foundation. Did not love it when I built it up. Now I was thinking there's been so many new foundations coming out and is this anything special that you don't have? 
I don't think so. I think the um, texture is unique and how easy it is to apply with your hand. I will say that that is something more unique to the foundation and the way it feels. I don't own a foundation that feels this way. Um, I'm glad it stays on really good. The finish is nice and natural. So what I'm saying is that overall, the look of the foundation has been there, done that, but the feel of the foundation is different. So I like this one better than the Gucci foundation because that one looked kind of heavy around the pore area and it tended to look a little makeup-y but that one stayed so much better. That thing will not move. So if I have a long day or I want to look flawless and nobody's going to be like this close, I'll wear the Gucci because that thing will stay on all day. This, as you can see, it moved a little bit here and there, which does not bother me at all. It's been many, many hours, 12 hours later. That's pretty good. I will say the one thing that I wouldn't say bothers me, but it's something to note. It's I needed to do so many pumps because the pumps are so short and so little product comes out with one pump. Um, so that's the one thing that I wanted to mention when you apply, you feel like you're pumping so, so much foundation. But I think the pumps are like very short. It almost feels, feels like you're doing half a pump. So thought I would mention that. And those are all my thoughts on the foundation. I hope this was helpful. I'm gonna go relax. I'm actually gonna go edit this video, have a drink. So if the editing is bad, it's, it's because of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.